All right, it is noon. We go ahead and get started. Uh, Jane Enklin here, a uh, health fitness specialist with Exos at Autodesk, coming with you for this exercise with Exos Thursday edition. Um, it's got fun body weight workout, plan as always. Uh, no equipment. It's going to be a pretty similar format. Three exercises, three rounds, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, and then take a little break. Then the same thing, another three different exercises. So I'll explain our first round. And you're, well, we will be doing some stuff on the floor. So if you have a mat or carpet, whatever, something to be comfortable with on the floor, grab that could be on. So our first movement for first round is going to be RDL. A couple options here. We're going to go single leg or uh, two legs, whatever you're feeling today. So single leg. Both of you slide down to the knee, chest is up, shoulders pulled back, this long forward, chest under the ground, keeping the back nice and flat, coming back up, working on our glutes, hamstrings, very important muscles. Next, we're gonna hop on the ground. We're doing a lot of eccentric, slow, controlled push ups. So today, first, we're gonna be doing all out, as many as we can, 40 seconds. So we're gonna be on our knees, front of the plank, hands under our shoulders, for 40 seconds. As many as you can. Now, 40 seconds is a lot, so we'll take a little break in between, catch our breath, go to our knees, but just try to do as many as you can for about 40 seconds. And next, this is going to be from T's, so we'll be down on the mat. You can sit on the mat, push ups, arms up to the side, forehead to the ground. Breathing, arms up, squeeze our shoulder blades, try to take minimal movement in our arms. Our arms are not controlling this. Our upper back, the back of our shoulders, are bringing our arms up to the sky. So that's our first round, but before, as always, we do a little warm up. So we'll start out our same position. Feet at shoulder width, just bringing our uh, foot to our opposite hand, squeezing it up, working on loosening up our hip a little bit. So let's do five each side. Do a little stretch in our glutes, opening it up. One more. And good. Next, we'll go into a little side lunge. So we're going to start with our feet, same position. We're just going to lunge out, sink as deep as we can to that hip, keeping our opposite leg nice and straight right here. Toes pointing forward. We'll do three each side. Hands out in front of us. One more. And good. All right, last we'll do the warm up. World's greatest stretch. So go ahead, grab one of our knees, right below our knee, pull it in front of the chest, lunge back, legs are nice and straight, hands come to the inside of the foot. Rotate, look up to the sky, bring the hand down on the outside of the foot, lunge back, feel a little stretch in the hamstring, and reset. So, one more on that side, squeeze the knees nice and tight, lunge back, hands come to the inside of the foot, rotate, look up to the sky, hand down to the outside of the foot, and extend, lunge back. Yeah, there's the hamstring. We'll go to the other side now. So, opposite knee, pull to the chest, lunge back, hands to the inside of the foot, and rotate up to the sky. Place the outside of the foot again, and then lunge back. Feel the stretch. Other hamstring now. One more. Pull in. Then back, 
and straight. Hands inside the foot. Rotate with the sky. You guys got it. And outside foot now and lunge back. All right, so if you miss what I went over, so I hope you just join. Or starting out with RDL, single leg or double leg, then into push ups, and then into some prone tees on the ground. I'll do a little extra coaching as we get started. So starting our single leg RDL, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds of rest. So we got our slide button underneath. There we go. Three, two, one, go. Shoulder raise the road, roll black. Uh, chest it up. Go as far back as we can without losing our balance. Inhaling, let it go down. Exhaling, let it come up. That's 20 seconds, so switch legs. Slide bend in the knee. Shoulders back. Chest up. Match up grab a sports team. You want to show off that logo. Don't look around us. Don't off that logo. One more. And good. Okay, now into our push ups. So we're going to be on our knees, more in a plank position. We're doing 40 seconds, as many push ups as we can. We need a little break. So we're going to go ahead and try to hop back into it. So go. Keeping the core engaged, nice and tight. We're trying to get as many as we can, but not out of control. Control ourselves down, slow it up. Back stay in the same position, similar to our RDLs. Back nice and flat, 10 seconds. And good. All right, so we can stay down on the floor. Went to our prone tees. With these, we want to just think about not using our arms at all. We want to think about pulling our shoulder blades together, our upper back. So that the prone tees. So we can go ahead. Go. Nope. We're using shoulder blades together. Lowering back down. This position to working our back and shoulder muscles. Also good for stretching out chest. Inhale the bun. Exhale as we come down. Good. Five seconds, do one more. And good. All right, so we have the first round. Go back to our RDLs. Turn it again. No. The balance will be on the other side. You can always do these uh, two legs as well. Let's do a nice stretch in our hamstring and loose. So go ahead. Shoulder roll back. Back back and flat. Slide down in our knee. Working on that balance. Switch legs, doing single leg. Showing off that logo of someone in front of us. Going to reset the bottom if we need to. And good. All right. Into our push ups now. Four seconds push ups, a lot, I know, but we'll do our best. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Hands under our shoulders, screw them to the ground, core engage, work in, 
chest, shoulders, triceps, well, that hip up. Halfway there. Go. Great control. Five. And good. Five. All right, now we're into our front seats. Purpose of these after our push up, so we can just stay hanging out on the mat. Also, as I said, stretching out our chest. After those push ups, very nice. So go ahead, squeeze your upper back together. Come out we had an object, like an apple, egg, and then we're in our shoulder blades. We want to squeeze that as we can together. Stretching out the chest, engaging upper back. Good, ten more seconds. One more, and good. All right, last round of this, then we're on to our next round. We got our RDLs again coming up. Working on that balance, glutes and hamstrings, you can feel a little bit by now. So go ahead, go for it. Shoulders roll back. And ideally, we would see straight line up our head, down, toe, under our foot. But we're just getting it down. Just do the best we can. Switch legs into a single leg. Chest up. Ten seconds. Work on that balance. One more. And we're good. All right, last round of those push ups. Go ahead. Loosen up a little bit. Get ready. Do a lot of push ups. Most push ups I've done in a while. Go ahead. Making sure we're breathing while we're doing this. Well, we're still engaged. Not only as our belly slops from the ground. Halfway there. Go ten more seconds. Push it. Five. And good. All right. No push ups. Out of our front teeth, last round. Hey, this is the shoulders. All right. Front teeth starting in three. Two, one, go. Minimal arm movement. Keep everything in check. Think about pushing your belly into the floor. Help you engage the floor. Shoulders should be feeling down, especially after the push ups. Five seconds. And good. All right. So grab a little water if you need. Our next circuit comes in a format 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. So I'll let you get some water out of the planet. So first, we're going to start out with squats with three, two, one format. So three seconds down, two seconds hold the top, one second, slow it back up. So that's what it looks like. 
Feet can be shoulder width and hip width, wherever you're feeling comfortable today. Toes should be pointed forward, best you can. Let's go down one, two, three, one, two, and up. So those are the squats. Back stays nice and flat, working again in their quads, but also our glutes, hamstrings to stabilize. So that's our first one. Next, what we're going to do is some heel touches to work the core a little more, shoulder core. So we're right here, our feet can be placed further from us, closer to us, where we're not feeling good. We're working on just palms up in the sky, touching the back of our heels. So the further our heels are, the further we'll have to reach. The closer they are, the closer we'll have to reach. So you can start with further, you have to get more tired, move them closer. So for the second one, and last, what we're gonna do is speed skaters. So here, so right here, using our arms, uh, bend at the knee, bend at the hip, and explode, lance off, our leg head comes back behind this leg, using our arms, chest stand up, back and forth. Four seconds of that. So that is our next circuit. Go ahead and start in a second. We grab some water. So we got our squats, heel touches, and speed skaters. So our knees on our squats, stand over our toes, not standing too far. The squat is starting in three, two, one, go. Down on three count, one, two, three, one, two, and up. You don't have to be following me, but just make sure you're throwing yourself down, holding for a second, come back up, stop the look on out. One, two, three, one, two, slow it up. One, two, three, one, two, slow it up, one, two, three, quick, hold, slow it up. All right. So that's more about control. As opposed to our push ups, we are just getting better as possible. So now we're into our heel touches. In three, two, one, go. So your core is engaged the whole time. Working on our obliques, lower abdominals. If we need a break, as always. Take a second, take a breath. All right, right back into it. And good. Good work. So now we try speed skaters. These ones got to get the form down first. Then we can start jumping a little further, going a little faster. But we're meant to, this is meant to be our end cardio metabolic. So we're going. A little speed. We go. Using our arms to help us balance, get more momentum on our jump. Slide in our knee. And we should try. Be looking up, looking forward. It's time to know to be looking down. Use our momentum to help us land, transfer in. We're going to have a little change of direction. Never heard. Five, four, and good. All right. So we're back into our squats. I'll go from this angle this time. So now we're a little more squat muscles are a little more warmed up. So we can see if we can squat a little deeper. If not, 
totally fine. Go ahead. Three, two, one, one, two, slow it up. Three, two, one, one, two, slow it up. Notice how my knees aren't caved in, aren't bending out, staying right on my toes. Three, two, one, one, two, slow it up. The same path. Three, two, one, one, two, slow it up. One more. Three, two, one, one, two, slow it up. Good work. Back on the back. Heel touches. We want to keep our head coming into this nice neutral position right here. Try not to be having it extended forward. Go ahead. I know it's tempting to look at the heels, but we want to keep the neck in a good neutral position. Avoid any unnecessary strain. You can always, like I mentioned, move. Be closer towards us, join the range of motion. 10 more seconds. Finish strong. And good. All right, great work. Back to speed skaters. I always said this when I do speed skaters, but I like to use this mat, kind of like a guide. See how far I'm jumping. If you have things to track, how far you guys are jumping. Beautiful. Let's go ahead. Slide on the knee. Bend in the hip. Eyes move forward. Chest is up. Get a little faster. That's good. Form down. Top of there. Soft. It's not the hearing day thud when you land. One more. And good. All right. We came to the last round. Squats. My legs were already kind of sore before this, so they're really burning now. For five seconds. Three. Two, one, go. One, two, three, one, two, and up. One, two, three, one, two, back up. Back to stay neutral. Two, three, one, two, back up. One, two, Three, one, two, back up, two more. One, two, three, one, two, up, and strong. One, two, three, one, two, back up. Woo! Double squats. Heel touches. Last round. Starting in three, two, one and go. So palms are up, head in a nice neutral position, core very engaged. For another core, last thing we're doing for 20 seconds, halfway there. Remember, you breathe on this one. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, good. All right, last thing of speed skaters. Okay, let's do a little cool down. This is the last one we got. So, like I said in the previous two, give it all you got. Starting in three, 
two, one, go. Get a nice big jump. It's all on the pace. Trying to knock the ball out of balance. Looking forward. I always catch myself looking at the ground. Now we're going forward. 15 seconds. Almost there. And your biggest jumps yet. Five seconds. Two and one. Woo. Great work, everyone. So that was a tough one, but good job staying with it. So grab a little water you need. Got a cool down going on. Always good to reset our heart rate, stretch out our work, especially after a tough one like that. Ready? Good. Going back on the floor. We're going to just work on stretching out our hips a little bit and our chest. We did a lot of hip and chest stuff today with the squats, skaters, our nails, and push ups. So we'll start knees stacked on top of each other, feet on top of each other, palms together right here on the ground. Then just rotating down on the other side, palm up to the sky, feel the stretch in this hip, hopefully, and especially in this chest. You want to make sure to stretch out the chest after the push ups because the chest can get very tight, see the depths all day, especially after working them out, get even tighter. Go ahead and reset. Roll the legs to the other side. Place these hands on top of each other now. And rotate, opening up. And a stretch. Then again, the hip, mid back, but especially the chest. Pectoralis, major. Couple more deep breaths here. And all right, that's one more minute. So now we'll just do some hip flexor, hamstring, combo work. So we'll start out by turning the hip flexor to line on our back, uh, feet down on the ground, not feet down your legs on the ground. Go ahead, reach, grab right below the knee, squeeze it into our chest. Nice and tight, tight as we can, keeping this leg thrown on the ground, doing the stretch from the hip flexor in front of our hip of this leg. Take a couple deep breaths here. Then we'll go into our camping stretch of this leg. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. Now we'll go ahead, grab behind. Under the knee now, extend, leg towards the ceiling, try to keep, make it as straight as possible. And right here, we can feel a calf stretch by flexing our toes, pointing them towards us, back to the opposite wall, feeling stretch down our calf if we decide to do that. Couple deep breaths here, then we'll go to the other side. Entering can tend to get sore out of the uh, RDLs to make sure we stretch those out. Important. So we're almost out of time, so we'll go ahead to the other side. Squeeze me in nice and tight. Take a big deep breath. Good. And we'll extend this foot up to the sky. Pull the toes back. We want a little calf stretch. One more deep breath. And good. All right. It, it's just about 12 30 for our time, but thank you all so much for coming.
Jay and everybody. I teach Wednesday, Thursday at 12. So enjoy the class. Hope to see you again. Thanks for coming.